In part two of this video series, we talked about setting up your map in preparation for doing your lead service line inventory. Now it's time to do the real work of gathering the required information about each service line. This video is not going to suggest best practices on how to go about determining the information you need for your inventory. We're not an authority on that. But your work will probably involve some combination of talking to homeowners, digging through records, and in some cases digging through dirt. In this video, I am going to show you some techniques on how to record your findings onto the map. And then in the next video, we'll discuss how to put this information into an official report. The examples in this video assume you already have the locations of your service lines marked on your map. If you don't, you might want to sit down with your meter reader and do this. First, zoom in on the map to the location of a water service. Click the draw button, select your water services layer, this is the layer we set up in the previous video. Click the point button and then click on the map. Most people mark the location of a water meter or a shutoff valve, but you might alternately mark the location of the tap or the point of entry into the structure, or just a point marking the location of the house. Now you have a point to record your inventory data. And plotting your point this way also records the latitude longitude coordinates of the service in case you need that information. Now, assuming there is already a point on the map marking the service location, click on it, scroll down to the service line inventory section, and answer all the questions listed there. Some of the fields will have pick lists for you to choose from. If you're unsure of something right now, but plan to determine the correct response later, then leave that field blank to indicate that you're not finished. But if you've exhausted all your options in determining the answer to one of these questions, then you might want to choose unknown or whatever the equivalent choice is to indicate that you're done with this field. When applicable, we've included additional instructions that you can read by clicking the question mark. These instructions are taken from the regulatory agency spreadsheet and may even include a note indicating if the field is optional. Now what if you have several houses on a street and you have evidence that they were all built at the same time by the same builder using the same plumbing practices? The good news is that there's a way to assign some information to all of these water services at once. To do that, click the menu button and choose Select and Modify. Then choose your water services layer, and then click on one of these selection buttons. I'm going to use the Fence Selection tool. Now I press the left mouse button and hold it down while I trace a selection fence around several services. When I get back near where I started, I let go of the button. It tells me how many I selected right here and highlights them on the map. I can repeat to select more. This time I'll use the rectangle select. And if I want to hand pick a few, I can use the feature select button and add a couple over here and even delete one that I shouldn't have selected. Once I've selected all the similar services, I go to the action menu and choose set field value. I then choose which fields I want to assign a value to. For example, I'm going to say that all of these services have a customer material of copper and a water side material of PVC and a year built of 1995 and whatever else you want to enter here. After I click apply, we can see that it's assigned this information to all of these points. And I can still go back and change the information for single services if I want to. A few final points about recording your inventory. First, if you haven't done so already, ask your county for a shapefile of the parcels for your service area. You can then overlay these on your map. If you need help with that, just send it to us. This parcel layer will at least show you the property owner and may contain other information. Second, your county may have a public website with the GIS information on it. If so, it probably contains even more information such as when the structure was built and possibly even inspection details. This video continues next with part 4 describing how to take all this information you've collected and insert it into a report.